What's up guys? So today we're in the kitchen, all right? And what we're gonna be making is a $40 meal prep. One of my favorite foods is sweet potato. So we're gonna do loaded sweet potato tacos. But I'm gonna take you guys to the grocery store and show you what to get so you're not getting the wrong stuff when you try to make this. All right, let's go. All right, so we're back, and it's time to get down in the kitchen, all right? All we got here, you can see many things are just one ingredient, and that's what you want to focus on. Everything being one ingredient foods, because that's where you get the most nutrition and less processed stuff, okay? So I know you guys don't know, but one time I did these, right? And I forgot to poke holes. It took like an hour and a half. They were never right. So get, get you some holes. Gonna need a little bit of arm strength. All right, you're gonna poke holes on the top and on the bottom, so as you can see, I'm struggling, all right? Ah, perfectly normal. I'm gonna have a good pump after this. Ooh, yeah, perfectly normal. So you're gonna feel just like me when you start doing this. All right, right on the opposite side of it. Start on your second row of holes. Now what the holes is gonna do, right, it just gets it gets, let, it gets more air, like it lets more air get into your sweet potato, which is gonna allow it to cook faster. Ah. Woo. I gotta do four of these. All right, if you got another idea better than the fork, you can do that too, but make sure you get some holes in there. All right, got that done. As I told you, you got a little pump from that. It's not an easy job. So if you got some help, man, get some help with these. But good luck on your own. So last procedure before we put it in the oven, wrap it up in foil. Uh, the foil really doesn't matter, you know, whether it's like super thick or thin, you just wanna make sure it's wrapped up pretty well. Make sure your holes is in, cause that is, that's the key thing. All right, you're gonna get you a pan. And I remember, like, it gotta be a pretty pan. I remember when I used to like get these, I used to wonder why they always wrapped them in foil. Now I understand they just cook faster when you do. So wrap them up good. Keep them like this. And we're gonna go for we'll go for 40 minutes, check and see how they do. Cause sometimes when I cook them, I don't expect them to cook as fast and they cook faster. So what we're gonna do 40 to start. Put them on the top. All right, top cooks faster cause heat rises. So put them on the top and make sure these go in. Not playing with these today. All right, now it's time to work on the other stuff. Onions next. What I have here is some sweet onions. Right, there's a lot of ways to cut, cut your onions. You just gotta see what you kind of want. I learned so many different ways to cut onions. Some of them, you know, make sense, some don't. But it's good to learn. So what I just did, dice one, two, a few lines, it's gonna cut already diced, just like that. All right, and that's, that's one set. See how easy that is? Now whether you think that's easy or not, or you just wanna cut them and then do it, it's up to you. But this way it's not bad. A lot of chefs use this, this method. Boom, quick cut. One, two, three, all the way down, and then, that's easy. Now, what we're gonna do for this is just 
just want to get some flavor. All right, we're going to get some flavor. We're going to saute these in just a little bit of butter. All right, if you want to add garlic, you can. I'm not doing garlic today. Just a little bit of onion, do some garlic powder. All right, we're trying to get, we kind of faster. This is a meal prep. Remember, you're going to try to make this on Sunday, you know, most likely Sunday, Wednesday, if you run out of food. But I don't like to spend a lot of time cooking. That's why most people eat out, because they don't want to spend the time to cook. So we're looking for time frame to be hour to hour and a half most. I'll give you an hour and a half for this, because there's so many small ingredients to add. You know the onion is good if it got, if it start. Woo, this one just got me. That's how you know if the onion is good. If it doesn't make you cry, then you might be out of date. Might be a little expired. Woo. Should make a video cry. Woo. I heard if you wet something, if you wet the onion or put a paper towel or wet paper towel, I don't, I don't know what they told me, but Give me every time. All right, sweet onion, ready to go. We're gonna put this, put this on the low temperature. All right, we're going to the stove. Woo, man, come on over, come on. All right, let's talk about your oils. Now, most people just can't just use any oil. All right, you gotta use something that your body is like a healthy fat. Otherwise, you can start clogging your arteries. We can start using that unhealthy stuff like, well, you got canola oil. You know, people have their different opinions about oils, but I'm either using grapeseed oil, um, avocado oil, and extra virgin olive oil, all right? Those are the three that I use. Now, those also don't always go with everything. So if you're gonna cook something that needs a little more flavor, sometimes you gotta use vegetable oil, you gotta fry, you gotta use, you know, vegetables sometimes, you know, if you have to, but I don't eat that kind of stuff stuff that much. That's done. You let this heat up. Keep it low. All right, we don't want to burn. You don't want to burn up your onions. All right, especially if you had garlic, definitely don't want to burn that up. So let's get that going here. Now the rest of the stuff, we can actually do two. All right, let's do two. Let's get this fast. Let's get this going fast. This next one, we're going to cook. We're going to get our ground turkey going. Now what I have here, 85 lean, 15% fat ground turkey. I usually go 90, 10, but I didn't see it in there. The more fat it has, the more flavor, okay? You no, know, the more lean it is, the better for your physique. Right, that's why you want to eat lean meat all the time. So 85, 15, not too bad. A little bit of flavor, a little bit of fat. All right, we're just gonna let this heat up. And now we got two things going at once. All right, saute these, let this cook. Then we're gonna put the onion on that. And then we just got a little bit left. All right, a little bit left. Get this going. Boom. Hear that sizzle? Ready to go. Now. There's a lot of seasons we could use, but I want to introduce you to something that you might not know about. Make sure I can find it. It should be right in the front. My seasoning, guys. All purpose, all right? Jay Bailey's all purpose seasoning. I put everything in this for you guys to put this on anything. So, garlic, salt, onion, paprika, pepper, a little bit of brown sugar. Like, this is, this is it. This is the move, all right? Even got some herbs in there. You know, got a little bit of parsley, got some herbs, some cilantro, everything to make it just blend and bring a savory flavor to whatever you put it on. So this is what you're gonna be using the season. I'm gonna let this cook down just a little bit because I don't want my onions getting too, too cooked, be all soggy and stuff. We're gonna actually put corn in the onions. All right, we're gonna add this to the ground turkey today. I got this corn, all right? This, you know, like I said, usually no cans. Everything one ingredient, but sometimes corn takes a long process. If you gotta take corn on the cob, cook it, cut it off. Like you're going for something a little bit quicker and I got no salt added. So major key is low, no salt and also just making sure the things on the nutrition label look good. All right, so add this here and then we're gonna put this in the ground beef. If you wanna season this, you can, but you don't have to, all right? Corn already has a flavor. Here we go, all purpose. Take a look at that, all right? You got green, you got, you got a good color, and it has salt too, so. Just because it's coming from me, it doesn't mean it's not gonna have no salt in it. All right, take one more look at that. I'm gonna put a link below. Make sure you guys check it out. No, I promise you, once you try it, you're gonna always need to have it, all right? Gonna need that. I think also, when I would cook turkey or beef or stuff like that, and I start seeing, you know, you start seeing like juice, right? People think, you know, you can get, you can start thinking, oh, that's fat, that's this. No, you need juice because that just absorbs the flavor, right? That helps you. It's not really fat. Remember, it's only 15% of fat. So you need juice so that your meat is just not dry. So leave it there. It'll, it'll soak up and your food tastes even better. Let's let it cook down a little bit. That looks good. Let's turn it down. 
And if you want to get even more flavor out of this, put it on a really low temperature heat and just put a top on it. I'm actually going to do that. No, come on really low, like below three. And just let all of these flavors get together. All right, blend together. And the only thing that I don't have in my all-purpose seasoning, um, I, don't, I don't think it goes on everything, but an ingredient that you must have, I believe, is a little bit of cumin. All right, a little bit of cumin in this. All right, sprinkle, because it's a very strong flavor. And other than that, too, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of chili powder. Chili powder always goes well. Sprinkle it both, because both of these could just change the whole dish of how they taste. Low, mix it one more time. We're gonna just put a top on this and let it, let us do its own thing. Major ingredient to this dish. Make your own sauce, okay? Well, what I have here is a, I have a plain Greek yogurt. This is actually a uh, Kite Hill unsweetened. That's just because I don't like taking in dairy that much. So if you free, if you can, you can do a plain Greek yogurt. This yogurt isn't as, what I say, like plain Greek yogurt sometimes give me like a sour taste, you know? But this is just gonna be, you know, really, really bland, nothing to it. And that's why I bought a taco seasoning, okay? Taco seasoning is gonna give it that kick because remember we're making sweet potato or loaded sweet potato tacos. And if you want that taco, taco kick, you gotta have a little bit of taco seasoning. Just be cautious, okay? Two tablespoons of this gives you the nutrition label, you know, ingredients on the back. All right, these are the facts here. So you can follow this. I'm just gonna do a sprinkle, cause I don't need as much, but that's about, that's enough. You can always taste test. You add more yogurt, you can add some, you know, if it's really, if you feel like it's salty, add a little bit of lemon juice to it. Mix it up, guys, and that's how it should look, all right? A little bit of orange, all right? Just a little bit of orange. But what gives it off is, let's, let's see. Hmm. Funny, it has sodium, but it doesn't have any salt. All right, so add a little bit of salt. Remember, this is this is like this is your dish, okay? So whatever flavors you want to taste, you can add more of. All right? I have a preference. I'm pretty much like a low sodium type of person because I figure that's what makes my physique look the best. All right? Low sodium, low sugars keep me looking ripped. All right? But you also need sodium so that you don't like cramp up and stuff like that. So good balance of both. Whatever makes you feel good, that's much better. All right? That's it. Sweet potatoes are done. And they think about the sweet potatoes, right? I eat baked sweet potatoes on a regular basis. And it took way longer this time. It's like when I record it, right? It just wanna take longer. So I always put it on like between 425, 450. And I've done it a few times where it takes me like, it cooks faster than what I expected. And they come out super soft. So I'm starting to think of, I mean, of course it depends on the size and the bulk of the sweet potato. So these sweet potatoes right here actually took me almost an hour 20, right? And that, that makes me mad because it just switches. But I think if you come look at these sweet potatoes, come check it, come take a look at these. How this one is really, like this one is like, looks very good. Like you just, it's gonna melt in your mouth. Compared to this one, this is done enough to where it's not, you know, you're not gonna get a hard potato. But this one is just gonna melt. Like this is perfect. It's almost a little bit close to being overcooked. All right, these ones, the rest of them are just, are, they're just good to go. But sweet potato is one of my go-to meal prep food because it's not, it's nothing cleaner that you can really get than a sweet potato cooked like this. So yeah, depending on how you wanna do it, guys, look at the sweet potato and you'll see, you know, you can kind of understand, all right, this one got cooked longer, this one got to, but man, only when I record, man, does it do this. But nevertheless, sweet potatoes are done, all right? You can see here, these is if you wanna have a little bit of a smaller portion, okay? A little bit smaller, you, wanna, you need some carbs, you're trying to put on some muscle, Gotta go for the bigger sweet potato. All right, I don't measure my food, but what I would do is, if I needed to, I might track it, how much is, you know, weight is one, how many grams is this, so you can get an idea of what your body needs. So, here we go, five trays, okay? If you wanna do less, of course, you can cut them and have more, but five trays is good. It's gonna last me about maybe three days, just in case I wanna throw one of these in for dinner if I don't have time, and the ground beef is ready. So that's what we are gonna start with first. So the ground beef. I left it on the heat so it's still steaming. Let's make sure that ain't on. Not on, all right? But look at that. Got the corn in it. All right, got a little bit of those juices still in there that we want. All right, so when you got kids, nothing is gonna be where it's supposed to be I mean, unless you're just on 24 hour surveillance. Now, for this, I'm gonna start with a scoop of each. Of course, again, like I said, I don't measure, but what you can do is just make sure everything is even. You can never go wrong with protein, all right? Usually, people don't get enough protein. So I'm gonna start with, I can eat, make it even easier, all right? This is easier for you. Spoon, you don't know. So what I'm gonna do 
is a cup because that's easy to measure some macros, all right? That's easy to do, just in case. So we're gonna start We're gonna start with a cup, make sure all of this is good. All right, cup on each. Put a cup, put that right in the middle, and this can fall any way you want it, okay? Cup, all right, make sure it's a full cup. Don't cheat yourself on the protein. Never cheat yourself on the protein. Carb, yeah, we need, but protein is not that easy to come across, all right? I'm gonna put a cup even on these, all right? Half the carb, still the same protein. Now, if you don't use all of this, which is still great, you can use it for something else. You can put this on some rice, you can make some more potatoes. I mean, whatever you wanna do, you got some leftover ground turkey, you know, whatever you want to do, you can do it. Rice is still good too. All right, gonna fill it up. Now, that looks like enough, all right? For me, it looks good. You know, what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit. It looks pretty good. I might not do anything. All right, I don't wanna, I don't wanna overdo it. All right, so we're gonna stick that over there. Now, next topic, you got some lettuce, all right? Iceberg lettuce is not really my favorite, but I don't wanna do as much work. So I got to shred it. You know, I got to shred the iceberg lettuce. If you want something more nutritious, you know, spinach, you can do it. You can chop that up yourself. You can shred it up. Today, you want a little bit of iceberg lettuce. All right, your body will tell you what you want, but at least we're getting some greens in. All right, a little bit of greens. You know, lettuce to me, if it's not like romaine lettuce, it's just something with like a little bit of like extra water. You know, a lettuce is kind of like, takes the place of a little bit more water. That right? gives you some water intake. All right, but romaine lettuce, now you're talking a little bit more nutrition than that, but we're gonna do iceberg today. Up to you what you want, but if you can make tacos, you're probably gonna use some iceberg lettuce, to be honest, okay? Next, we're gonna add, makes the most sense. We're gonna add, actually, let me see, cheese or salsa? I think salsa go next. All right, we're gonna go with it, with spoon. Ooh. Ooh, got a little kick. I think medium is the, medium not supposed to be hot. All right, salsa. Salsa, this has onions in it, peppers in it. That's why we didn't have to buy and cook that stuff ourselves. Now we're talking flavor, all right? That's some salsa, good kick to it. Thing about salsa is it also has, you know, a good amount of sodium content. This has 180 milligrams of sodium, two tablespoons. Not too bad, all right? Always pay attention to that. This salsa definitely gonna give it a boost of flavor. So this is a little bit more. This might be, this might be right at like three tablespoons. But that right there, look, man, if somebody see you eating this out, they're gonna definitely ask you where'd you get it from or what's the recipe. And that's why I'm sharing it with you. Look at that. Close, we're getting close. I think we're gonna go cheese now. Cause I got something else that I'm gonna put on there. A little bit of cheese. All right, cheese for the look, cheese for the little bit of flavor. All right, I'm not a big cheese person. All right, cheese is one of those things that I sprinkle for flavor, but I don't put, like I don't eat that many cheese-based foods cause that's where the sodium and all the extra stuff start making you a little bit, a little bit less lean. Put on a little bit of fat. That's what we don't want. We don't want fat. We want lean muscle. All right, so there we go. There's your cheese. Now, the guac. All right, here's your fat. So we have now, you got your fats, you got protein, you got your carbs, all in one bite right now. All right, a little bit of guac on top. I'm a big guacamole fan. Avocados, one of my favorite, like this is one of the most nutrient dense foods that you can eat. All right, avocado, you don't want that much stuff added in it. You just want to get it pretty much mashed and I ain't, I'm not about to take time to actually cut and mash guac today or avocados today. So how we gonna do it? Already made, woo. All right, as much as you want. This is all I need right here. I think I need a little bit more right there. And lastly, my sauce. All right, where'd I put my sauce? I think I put it in, in the fridge. My yogurt sauce. And we just gonna add a little bit more on that. Voila, it's a wrap. All right, took me a little bit longer than normal, but this right here is about to, it's about to blast your taste buds. Take a look. Presentation purposes, got a little bit of fresh parsley for you guys. All right, it's all about the look. People eat with their eyes. If I was gonna give this to you, this is what I'm gonna put on it. For myself, I might not, but you know, add a little bit of flavor, extra flavor. Can't go wrong with adding different flavors. Now, one thing I do want you to know, this is $40 meal prep, depending on where you shop from, right? I shopped at Publix today, and overall, bought some bananas, I bought a little bit of garlic, so I'm gonna give you a good rough $44. All right, I want you to see this $40 meal prep. You go to the store and blame me if it come out to 45, or you know, if you go to Whole Foods, somewhere like that, it might be $60. If you go to Walmart, you might make this for $30. Wherever the local grocery store you go to, just expect the price ranges to change, okay? So this right here, in general, roughly around $40. If you actually go out to eat, you know, lunch every day, you're gonna spend 
been around 12 to $15 per meal, okay? This right here, $10, $11, and you know what you put in your food. You know you're getting protein, uh, carbs, healthy fats, and quality food, not stuff that they put a bunch of oil and salt in. This one, you can eat, and you're gonna feel good about yourself when you're done. So, guys, this recipe is fire. I hope you like it. Please make it, share it. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Show some love. Put some, you know, put your thoughts in the comments and let me know whatever else you want to see. Guys, you're here with Josh Bailey, aka the Muscle Chef. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. See you on the next one.